guys, it's Candace from Beacon Help Books. I'm here with the History Trail tag. I was tagged um, by Tanya at the Sampler Girl Knits and Reads. So she is part of the Read Around the World book club and she also does knitting videos. She's got a great channel, so check her out. Let's just step into it. Uh, number one, what book, movie, person, place introduced you to history slash historical fiction? Ooh, um, I can't really exactly pinpoint it. I think that I've always been interested in history. Fun fact, um, the number one child in your family or functional first child is usually the family's genealogist. Not always, but most of the case, which is the case in my family and I am number one in my grouping um so I've always been into genealogy but my mom has always been into Egypt and she had Margaret George's Cleopatra laying around which I think I got to maybe more in college and I read it and I was like oh my god like it opened up this whole new world to me and then that led me to Henry VIII by Margaret George, and then forever I've been obsessed with British royalty. Um, but I will say my parents gave me a little house on the prairie set that I was obsessed with. And man, I wish I still had that. Um, so I think it's just kind of been in my blood just waiting to be picked up. Uh, what What is your favorite historical recommendation? So I do normally say Margaret George, but since joining BookTube, I've been opened up to a wealth of possibilities. And I have to say, I have not fangirled enough about the Peabody sisters. I mean, if you're interested in um, learning about early American romanticism, period, it is so good. I also often recommend uh, Exit the Actress, any book by Priya Parmar, and Exit the Actress was the first book I read by her and fell in love. Um, if you like Pisletari or books written as letters, um, you'll like, so this book also is historical and it's about Nell Gwynn, who was the mistress of Charles II, and I was just blown away. I loved it. And then she, Parmar came out with Vanessa and Her Sister, which is about Vanessa Bell and Virginia Woolf and the sort of group um, that they were all involved with, similar to the Peabody Sisters, these intellectual type groups or creative type groups that got together of young people and really changed history just by being with each other they inspired each other and I think improved each other to a greater height. Um, so, you know, I'm looking for uh, my little group here, if anyone's interested. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, number three, what is your favorite historical fiction era? Uh, I have to say it is the standard Tudor period um, because that's what, you know, really inspired my love for history. Again, I'm so excited that I've been branching out, um, but I will say that's probably my favorite. Number four, what is a historical fiction set in your home country? Well, I could name a ton that are from the United States. I wanted to name one that was in Vermont. Um, so there is a book out that I have not read that I would have been recommended um, that is based in Vermont. It's called Mr. and Mrs. Prince, How an Extraordinary 18th Century Family Moved Out of Slavery and Into Legend. And also, uh, Ethan Allen, His Life and Times, um, that's about the leader of the Green Mountain Boys that someone I follow on Goodreads, I think Jeffrey Keaton, highly recommended that. What historical eras do you avoid? I really don't avoid any era I want to learn as much as possible and the ones I know the least about are the ones I've not read the most so the farther back we go into time probably the less I've read it and I need to read more like I haven't read any of the real real way back classics like Homer and 
any of those things. What historical reads are on your TBR? Um, yeah, just a few. <laughs> um, I'll just mention a few and, and some that I have. Um, Golden Hill by Frances Bufford. Anything by Megan Marshall, Marshall who she wrote uh, The Peabody Sisters. So the next book I'm going to read is about Margaret Fuller. And then she has a few others out. Um, I want to read Team of Rivals. I'm going to do a buddy read with that from Liz at Learning Reads um, in August. Um, anything by Irving Stone. I have, I, I just recently purchased I, Claudius, which I was not into. I started before, but since reading um, Confessions of Young Nero by Margaret George, now I picked it up. I'm like, oh yeah, Tiberius. I know who that is, and um, I want to read that. I have Emily Holman's Fall of Egypt series, uh, Pope Joan, um, anything about Isabella Stuart Gardner or Margaret, Margaret Cavendish, and then the Mr. and Mrs. Prince and Ethan Allen books that I want to read as well. That's just a few, but I'll spare you. Uh, seven, what historical person inspires you? Well, number one, very common answer. I just don't know how you can't be so super inspired by Abraham Lincoln. I'm just, I have a slight obsession with him. And speaking of obsessions <laughs> I, okay I don't listen to country but like speaking of girl crushes because I have a few um now that I've read Margaret the first of course I am obsessed with Margaret Cavendish and I read the Peabody sisters I'm obsessed with Elizabeth Peabody um so we have such awesome strong women in history that are so inspiring and I've just like read the tip of the iceberg like there's so much and so many people to be admired um yeah so number eight tag some history nerds um I'm definitely going to tag Cheryl at CR Flames and Liz at Book Learning and anybody else that watches this and loves history please do this this is like my tag made in heaven I can't wait to watch more videos about this um and thank you all for watching i really appreciate it please let me know if you've read any of these books or if they sound interesting to you or anything at all bye